welcome, or welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. I'll address this in the film. Uh, what I do know is that a hell of a lot of people have been unsubscribed from my channel. Even though they didn't want to be unsubscribed from my channel. Um, I have had quite literally a dozen people say to me in the last couple of days that not only had they been subscribed to my channel but they had the notification bell rung as well and yet they were still unsubscribed so please 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 do check that you are still subscribed and that you have that notification bell rung otherwise I'm going to disappear from your feed and I will miss you even if you won't miss me right today's film is actually a two-parter and it starts off with a little bit. Just tuck that damaged finger away. Uh, a little bit of a um, a haul video. Yeah, I I um, did a little bit of buying. <laughs> so, if you want to find out exactly what's in these boxes. Then, my friend, you are in precisely the right place. Put your feet up, grab a drink, grab a snack. Here it comes. Hey, welcome back from the intro. Uh, I will have no doubt shown you these in the intro. They're not all from Beauty Bite, it's just those were the easiest boxes to stack them in, to be quite honest. Uh, so let's start with the top box, shall we? Um, after all the furore that went down in the drama community, with the drama again, as it was referred to, um, Marlena from Makeup Geek and Jen from Gerard Cosmetics both pledged to help support smaller channels um, which they have both been doing you know they've, they've both been sharing smaller channels and everything but something that oh yeah I've still got this on where I ripped my nail off um, <laughs> it's growing back it's fine you just I don't want anything to get onto the nail bed while the nails regrowing um, something that Jen Gerard well, let me just switch my phone on to silent otherwise if that goes off It'll annoy all of us. Um, yeah, something Jen Gerard did. Sorry. Bad pain, bad fibro day, likely to repeat myself. Might be annoying. Mm. But she decided that um, she was going to open her affiliate program up to smaller channels. She didn't suddenly have to have a minimum number of followers on Instagram or a minimum number of subscribers on YouTube. So I applied, um, she liked the looks that I'd done and I've got an affiliate code in <laughs> Gerard Cosmetics. I, I still like pinch me I'm dreaming with that one. Um, but as a result of that I had a store credit so that I could buy some bits which I have done which is what this is here. So full disclosure, these were effectively PR from Gerard, but I got to choose myself what I wanted. Um, I do have a code, it is affiliated. This means if you use it, you save 30% off of your order and I'll get a very small commission off of it. Um, I don't make mega bucks, I'm not expecting to make mega bucks because I'm only expecting maybe one or two of you to actually use the code. So I'm probably not even going to reach the minimum 25 quid to withdraw any commission that you've made. So 
But the items that I have purchased, I say purchased, the items that I've got technically is PR. Um, I've got myself another because you know I've already got the Slay All Day in Jasmine, which is I'm halfway through already. Um, so I got another one in my favourite scent, which is coconut. I should leave her in her box for the minute. And then I got a number of lip products because my love affair with makeup actually started with lipstick. It was kicked off by Jeffree Star's I'm Royalty, that beautiful purple lipstick. Uh, and it's kind of snowballed from there. But if you watch my how many foundations have I got and how many eyeshadow palettes I've got, God help me when it's time to do the lipstick ones. But I've got a selection of Gerard Cosmetics lippy bits to show you. So, I have got in their Hydra Matte Longwear, I have got the shade Invasion. I am going to swatch this for you on the back of my hand. Oh, it smells... Vanilla. It's definitely vanilla. Um, that's the best way to do this, probably here. So that's Invasion. As you can see, very much of my sort of shade. Um, a greyish mauve, which is, let's face it, pretty much one of the colours you think of when you think of me. Now this is the Kiss Assist Lip Plumper. Thank goodness I got through that without slurring. Um, it says, when using this product, a slight tingling or burning sensation on the lips can occur, may cause irritation. This is one of these lip glosses, as you can see, um, which you apply to your lips and it stimulates collagen and blood flow to the lips, which is meant to help when you use them over a period of time, it's meant to help keep them nice and plump. And let's face it, as we age, everything gets a bit thinner except our waistlines <laughs> so I thought I'd give this a go and uh, my face is washed and moisturized but I haven't put anything else on it yet so I thought I would pop a little bit of this lip plumper on while I'm going through the hole And then I'll wipe it off. This reminds me of a lipstick smell that my mum used to have back in the 80s. This does not smell like vanilla. And in terms of, now bearing in mind I've got a very high pain threshold because of the level of pain I experienced through the day. To me this is no worse than eating a curry. You know how your lips tingle when you've eaten something like a chilli or a curry? Yeah, it just feels like that. Not unpleasant at all. But obviously, if when you use it, it does become uncomfortable, take it straight off. Don't take any risks when it comes to your face. Then I got a metal matte lippy in shade Grape Crush. Now, I've had... Um, a couple of their metal mats before I had Underworld which is like a burgundy this one matches my uh, hair tail yeah this also smells like vanilla and this is a thicker formula than the Hydra mat but you can see it still spreads out but you can you can see now that Hydra mat's almost dry that has like a satin almost I know it's hydra matte but where it's it's one of them it's it, like the Jeffree Star ones it doesn't actually dry your lips out um, so to me it always seems to have like a almost like a satin finish and then this is the metallic lippy here grape crush as I said I've had underworld before which is like a um, like a burgundy purple which I think I went through about two of those that I bought 
before I'd even had a YouTube channel, so way, way before I was a um, <laughs> Gerard Cosmetics affiliate. <laughs> um, and as I still, I still get a little bit of a thrill for saying that. I suppose I better tell you my code, hadn't I? It's bomber, all in caps. Seriously, what am I like? Um, and you'll have seen that I've actually got um, one of their highlighters in shade Audrey. So, you know, I've used Gerard Cosmetics stuff over the years. Now this one really excited me. This is a new range, as far as I can see on their website. Glitter Lipstick. And I was so tempted initially to get the bright red one. But I've got to be honest, if I'm going to wear a super bright colour, I prefer it to be a liquid matte so that I know it's not going to make me look like Courtney Love by the end of the night. Really, really beautiful rose gold bullet casing. And this is in shade Swipe Right. And you can see I have not even... tested this yet. I'm going to very gently just because obviously you all know when you start a lipstick off it almost has like a little waxy coating you have to get through first which is true of all bullet lipsticks. Look at that though isn't that a really pretty colour? Maybe if I turn my light off that side. There you go. You can see it better now. It's, it's it's literally midday, but it is so dull and overcast out there, it's ridiculous. Let's put some light back on again so you can see me, poor you. So, those are my Gerard Cosmetics bits that I got, and I am super, super excited to have a go with some of those lippies. Right, before I make a mess everywhere, let me just wipe those off. Right, you can just see I have just. They have staying power. They have a lot of staying power. Okay, let me get my oil based cleanser out. Just to shift that hydromat. Because that's the one at the moment that's really saying I'm not going anywhere. It's, uh, but as you can see, oil based cleanser comes off with hardly any rubbing at all. I should know that really from the Jeffrey ones, but one of those days. Right, let's start with the first box here. This is a, a smorgasbord of all kinds of things. Um, with my Beautylish order, I got this um, free sample of the Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiance Serum. I don't know if you can see that. Which Let's have a look at what does my little leaflet tell me about it. Correct dark spots and promote radiant, even skin with this all natural serum. Vena Farina. Sounds like a drag queen, doesn't it? Vena Farina. Vena Farina, an extract of grapevine sap, brightens more effectively than vitamin C. Apply to face, neck, and decolletage before creams and moisturisers in the morning and at night. Ah, I have already moisturised my face, so I will try this out this evening. Um, now obviously whenever you do use skincare, you need really at least sort of like 10 days to two weeks to determine whether it will work or not. So hopefully that is enough of a sample for me to be able to judge that properly. Ooh, let's see what else have we got in here. Ah. Yes, Obsession have started to do, you know the um, the Mac Fix Plus and the Ciate and all of these other glowing, glittering setting sprays. 
Oh, there you go, that's good. I can see it now. See? Obsession Doom one. So I got the lightest one. Illuminating a glow. I just spritz that on the back of my hand. It doesn't smell of anything in particular, but it does give you a very fine dewy finish. So that would be nice if you've got a very, very matte foundation that you're using that would be good to use afterwards just to give it a slightly more dewy finish so stop it from going quite so cakey awesome uh, I also picked up one of the iHeart Revolution fixing sprays now you know I've got the cucumber one I've now got the vanilla and coconut one because let's face it, a girl can never have too many setting sprays. I finally, now this has been in and out of stock like nobody's business. This is the uh, Revolution Reloaded Velvet Rose palette. Now this one is one which um, Tammy Clark, makeup like a Tammy, compared this to Anastasia's Soft Glam and it's pretty much a bang on dupe for it um, but I thought I've got so many beautiful colours when it comes to um, eyeshadow palettes as you will see if you've watched my all my eyeshadows I've not got that many that are just neutrals and the reason I like this one so I'm so sorry, I had a glass of coke before I started filming so my voice was okay and it seems that my throat is gurgling to say thank you. Um, but this here is reminds me very much of Born Fresco from Modern Renaissance um, and I like the fact that although there are some warmer toned browns like this one here, this is a much more neutral, stroke neutral, cool palette than the majority of kind of you know the warm neutrals that we're used to seeing so I thought I wanted to give that a go because I keep looking at soft glam thinking oh I really like the look of that but 43 quid or 42 quid is a little bit steep this was four pounds so do you know what if I use it a few times and then realise I'm not really going to use it that much because I prefer using brighter colours because you know what I'm like um, I've only spent four quid on it and I'm pretty sure either Sophie or Helen would be quite happy to take this off my hands um, I have got now I think I remember to take most of the plastic off of these so I can just open them straight up this is a Makeup Academy blushed blush duo in shade Bloom, which is a, as you can see, a lighter pink and then a more mid toned pink. Both matte. Let's just. So you can see both. Just swatch those on the back of my hand. Now, obviously, you wouldn't have them quite that bold. You would blend them out. But I really liked the tones. I don't know if you can even see that now. I've blended that out. I really liked the tones of this. Obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have picked it up, would I? Um, I have been struggling recently where stress, etc., has been bringing me out in a fair few spots so I picked up a bottle of this Mario Badescu drying lotion which looks like this and you have to keep it in its two layers you, you don't shake it up or anything you literally just dip like a 
um, a cotton bud or a q-tip into the pink section and then dot it on. Now the pink section smells just like calamine lotion and calamine is one of the ingredients and the clear section smells like Vicks Vapor Rub and camphor is one of the ingredients. Um, I'm guessing all the other bits and pieces that are in here like zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, glycerin and salicylic acid all play their, play their part as well but basically this stinks when you put it on your face so dot it on at night, wash it off in the morning. Uh, it's meant to dry spots out overnight, totally. Um, but I've also got this Witch Naturally Clear Overnight Clearing Serum um, for spot prone and sensitive skin. I just thought I'd give this a go of an evening. Um, for more than 40 years, Witch has used nature's clever ingredient, Witch Hazel. Naturally cleanses, tones and smooths, leaving your skin perfectly balanced, soft and healthy looking. Overnight Clearing Serum is designed to help reduce the appearance of blemishes and spots while helping prevent future breakouts. Your skin is visibly hydrated and looks more radiant and clear, oil-free, dermatologically tested. Cleanse the skin thoroughly in the evening before applying a fine layer all over the face. It can also be used in the morning, worn on its own or underneath moisturiser. So yeah, again, <laughs> I've already got moisturiser on, so. But I'm going to be using that of an evening before I put my um, serums and stuff on. So I should put this on first and then I'll put my serums and bits and pieces on to give that one a go. Then I also got this, uh, because they were buy one get one half price, I got the uh, blemish stick which helps break down excess oils and fights the bacteria that causes spots. So I thought this could be quite useful if I do get a breakout. Um, just to attack it with. But also, okay, it's a screw top, fine. Oh, that witch hazel smell. Oh, it's a, oh, okay, it's a push up from the bottom jobby. And it's like a bl clear blue gel. I thought this might actually be quite useful um, if I'm having a particularly oil prone day. I'm going to try using that um, on my nose and my T-zone to see whether that will actually help prevent some of the oil production that I have. Uh, can but hope. Oh, that's a lippy that I've already used but popped in there to bring through from my handbag. Uh, this is a double ended spoolie and brow brush that I picked up. Super, super cheap. I think I got that from. I think I got it from Wish. And I literally paid like £1 postage and that was it. The actual brush itself was free. So uh, you can never have too many spoolies in your handbag and stuff. So got another one of them, and I picked up a handbag sized. I told you I like because I bought this. As you can see, I have actually bugger, I have actually used it a couple of times because um, I do keep this in my handbag, and I bought this before I became a Gerald Cosmetics affiliate um, and this is the cucumber scent can you tell that I like cucumber because I've got the revolution fixing cucumber spray as well so yay um, but this is great for your handbag if you're out on a night out and you're getting a bit hot spritz yourself with this it's amazing how quickly it cools you down again love 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 and I love the Slayer Day it is I actually prefer this to Urban Decay All Nighter um, because I, I think genuinely, on my skin at least, it works longer and more effectively. I've got a, another one of the Jeffreys um, Christmas Lippies, You're Still on the Property, which is that beautiful 
um, sort of indigo blue almost. It's difficult to see because obviously he's got all the, the glitter on the actual packaging this year but if I tilt it like that you can see it's a it's kind of halfway between blue velvet and abused in terms of his current lipstick colours. I will just, or I have just, well looked at the back of my hand there for you, so you can see. Really, really nice. And I mean, if we all know that I love Jeffree Stars, so I don't really need to say much more than that, do I? Uh, another Makeup Academy uh, blusher because I've got the Rose Tea shade and this is the shade Papaya Whip which is a really nice soft apricot shade and again similar to the Milani ones it's got actually got the rose uh, embossed in it and that's that one there which is a spray, setting spray on it, hadn't I? Darth Burger. So you can see that's going to be a really nice... I, uh, corals and apricots are some of the few colours that will work on both cool and warm toned skins. So just to give you a heads up on that score. I got myself because my old ones, to be quite honest, have well and truly had it. And although I've actually got quite curly um, eyelashes anyway, I thought I would grab myself another eyelash curler. Simply because when I'm wearing false lashes, I might actually start curling mine up just, a little, just so that they flip up through the... Um, the fake lashes so I don't have to keep squeezing them together quite so much. Um, I picked up, this is one of the things that I got from the Beauty Bay Black Friday sale. Uh, this is one of his velour lip scrubs, it's from the summer collection that he did um, and it was grape soda. I actually went through this so quickly because it's one of my favourite flavours that he's done. Um, I picked up, I've always been fascinated by the Fasali Jelly Highlighters, but I am not paying Fasali Jelly Highlighter prices. However, good old Makeup Rev have come out with their own Jelly Highlighter. And this is in shade Prestigious. They had three shades. Um, this one, which is obviously the, the rose gold one. Um, a gold one and a more silver one. And if you look, it really is like jelly in there. I'm trying to... I don't know if you can... Can you see that consistency? Look at that. So weird. So, so weird. Uh, let's just... pop that on there and give it a bit of a... But you can see it's a... It's a more subtle highlight than I would normally go for but it is very pretty um, and I just thought if I'm going to be doing that velvet rose palette it would kind of make sense to have a more natural blush to go with it blush highlighter because I'm just looking at the blush. But that's actually... That'd be really lovely on um, days when you're not wearing foundation as well. I genuinely don't know how that will work over foundation. There you go, look. All based. Cleaner. Takes it straight off without any problems. Love me good all based cleaner. And the final thing this box anyway. Let's just pack all these bits back in for a minute. The final thing for this box is something 
that I wasn't going to get. I really wasn't going to get. I didn't see the point in getting because I've got so many highlighters and I've got a lot of his highlighters and this to me felt like a bit of a gimmick and I wasn't going to pay 30 quid for something that's smaller than his huge ordinary ones. And then Beauty Bay had it for 21 quid. So I caved and I bought the shade Wet Dream. Pretty sure most of you will have seen these already. With the clear magnetic, really strong magnetic closure on this, with Jeffree Star Cosmetics written around here, and this itself has the star, and then lots of mini stars around it. Uh, what's the best way to show this to you? Probably with a I'll start off initially with a finger swatch. So you can let's take that brightness down there. There you go. So you can see that that's got a bit of oomph behind it. And now let's try a brush swatch on my Zoeva highlighter brush. So you can see that's that's definitely got a punch to it. That's I want to put this on my face, but as a warning, it does have glitter in it. So, admittedly, it is very very fine glitter pigments, but. It is glitter pigments. So, if you don't like a glittery highlighter, you do not want to get any of his Supreme Frosts. Let's pop that box over here and swap it for the final box on my haul. Amazon. Just some more eyeshadow brushes. These were super super cheap. If I can find the link I will put it in my description box below. But these are just really nice, soft um, eyeshadow brushes basically. You've got Three big fluffy ones, two medium fluffy ones, a flat shader, a lip brush or detail brush, and a thin liner brush. Hold that, there you go, you see it now, can't you? That's all in synthetic bristles. Um, these are, I believe these are just natural bristles rather than synthetics. Um, but none of them are animal hair. They're all far too soft to be animal hair. Uh, again, this could be an eyeliner or a brow brush. Another flat packer brush. And then these ones in the duo fibre, they've got a really nice big fluffy one, that's going to be great for blowing shadows out with. A slightly fatter packer brush. And a stubby brush for smudging out under the lower lashes. Because Although I've got my Spectrum brushes, which I love, those were a real treat to me from me, which I got on my catalogue so I could pay them off monthly. 
um, because I understand not everyone can actually afford spectrum brushes. I mean, I technically I couldn't really. I only got them because they're on my catalogue, and I could. Um, and they were on special offer. I keep looking at this highlighter. I just want to put it all over my face. Um, but I wanted to get some cheaper ones just to show you that cheap brushes will still put stuff on your face well. Um, these are, this is just a little, when I ordered from Superdrug they, they put me a little purse in saying treat yourself. I don't need encouragement, trust me, to treat myself. I'm terrible. Um, but I've got some of these. These are actually from Sophie, who does my nails, because if you've watched my all my palettes, my eyeshadow palettes, um, I gave her two of the palettes that I'm just not going to use. One of them was Life on the Dance Floor guest list, and one was Flawless 4. And she said, oh, awesome. Uh, fair exchange is no robbery. I don't use these lipsticks. Would you like them? She basically bought them, swatched them, and decided she didn't like them. Uh, and these are the Revolution Pro range. That packaging is NARS all over, isn't it? Isn't that NARS packaging? Uh, this is their Pro Supreme Matte Lip Pigment. I suppose really I should swatch these for you. I mean, it's taking off my gorgeous Jeffrey. So, let's take the Jeffrey off. So, let's just dry my hand off. This is shade Inconspicuous. Uh, you would not be inconspicuous when you are wearing that shade. Look at that. Really nice sort of... Um, that's a, an orangey based red. This is shade Subliminal. which is um, like a black currenty colour. Then we have shade Sixth Sense, which is very, very similar to the previous shade. But when you see them side by side, this one's slightly more brown, this one's slightly more red. Don't know if that's coming across on camera. Then we have Foresight. These really are very, very similar in, in tone. Uh, as you can see, that's then. It's almost like a brownie red, a bit less brown, a bit less brown. <laughs> Final one is a telepathy, which is a brown. So there you go, that's the shades of those. All very, very pretty indeed. Let's take this off before I get it everywhere. I am a bit of a klutz, but then I think we already know that, don't we? Let's grab a little bit more of my uh, oil-based cleanser. Okay, these stain. They're definitely called a matte lip pigment, but I'm actually having to push quite hard on my hand to get all of that off. So I'm guessing that's going to be quite a good sign in terms of longevity on your lips, but just bear in mind at the end of the night when you're taking it off you might have to work a little bit harder. I picked myself up a coconut lip balm. My lips are still tingling, by the way, from this Gerald Cosmetics. I picked myself up 
picked myself up this little tiny traveller's gift set thing. got this from Cult Beauty. Because uh, I've been wanting to try this for ages. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Genuinely, that is what it is called. It's a wee little pot. Oh, that smells amazing. Ooh. But surprisingly, as you can see what's been laying down in the box, you can see just how much you actually get in that little pot. Not so much. But this was on a Black Friday deal anyway. And it comes with a matching Brazilian foreplay moisturising shower gel cream. Okay. Infused with all powerful guarana extract. Whatever you reckon. I just know it smells really nice. So I am looking forward to trying that out a little bit later. When I have my shower this evening, I shall give that a go and uh, I'm pretty sure hubby will be quite happy to help me massage some of that bum bum creamy. Stop it. Right, uh, what next? That's a fun good question. Ah, that's my Jeffrey Who that I wore the other day. I just stuck it in here to make it easier to carry back out the kitchen. Uh, right, I've actually not opened this one yet. That's a bit silly of me. This is a Wet n Wild blush. Now, I've already got one of theirs, one of their colour icon blushes in pearlescent pink, which looks like that, which, as you know, I like that a lot. I've had that one quite a while now, actually. But this is one that Hannah from Smoky Glow raves about this particular shade. So I thought, do you know what? It was on the deal thing that Beauty Bay were doing, so I thought I would pick one up. And this is the shade Mellow Wine. How beautiful is that? Because the majority of the blushes that I've got are actually tart blushes, which is annoying because obviously they're on my shit list, so I don't really want to use them on screen but that really is a very pretty shade Ooh, looking forward to using that later um, I also picked up Lime Crime Wet Cherry Ultra Shiny Lip Gloss in shade Maraschino Cherry which is very red and has got little cherries on the lid. Please smell like cherry. Please smell like cherry. Oh it does. You know those little pots of maraschino cherries that you get at Christmas to put into your snowballs? Whoa. Smells just like that. Oh. And yeah that's a pigmented lip gloss. That is going to be awesome at Christmas. I tend to wear a lot of red lip here at Christmas. Um, I normally wear, as I said, if I'm going to go for a bright lipstick like that, I will go for a matte liquid lipstick. But that, ooh, that's going to look a little bit scrumptious. Obviously, if you wear a gloss over a matte lipstick, it's no longer transfer proof and you need to keep checking it. But, ooh. Um, if you've seen, in fact having said that I'm not even sure this is live yet, the tutorial that I did with this, the, the foundation review for this LA Girl Pro Coverage Illuminating Foundation which is apparently porcelain. I don't call that porcelain. However, again, in the Beauty Bay sale they'd got in the same range, the Pro Coverage Illuminating, they got the white mixer. So I can give that a try today. I can try mixing. Ew. 
Looks like my white mixer had been leaking. Ew. Thankfully that's all... No, it's not all inside. It's coming through the... Yeah. I really hope that doesn't mean the pump's buggered. I'll open that off camera. I'm not doing not doing that now. And then I discovered that Aldi, believe it or not, actually do online ordering now, which is awesome because all too often, um, by the time I managed to get to Aldi, all of the stuff that I wanted has actually sold out particularly when they do the special bits and they'd got some makeup in which I wanted to try because obviously I've tried their um, mascara that I liked uh, I've used their foundation and concealer that I liked so I thought right I'm going to get some more bits to try now you will have known that I had this little tiny sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer which I really like. Now Aldi have done a Lecura Snapshot Ready Foundation Primer Do we see the similarity here folks? So I'm really hoping that this turns out to be a dupe for this, because this is far more cost effective. Um, annoyingly, Aldi don't always have, at least my Aldi, doesn't always have makeup in, but I'm hoping that if this proves popular enough, that they will actually continue with the makeup line and make it more permanent so I'm going to give that a go today because I've moisturised but I haven't put any primer on yet so I should pop that on then my antiperspirant primer and then I'll have a play with the leaky one um, I also picked up a blush in shade Gold blush, which is described as a universally flattering shade of coral blush with flecks of gold shimmer. Doesn't this remind you of NARS? Doesn't this remind you of NARS? Orgasm blush? So... I'm going to be giving that one a bit of a go today as well, I think. So I won't swatch it because you'll see it in a minute anyway. And they've done an Aloha bronzer, which looks remarkably like the Hula bronzer from Benefit, even down to the brush. So I'm going to be trying that today as well. Now, because obviously this is... Oh, I've got one more thing I haven't shown you yet. Which is, again, Cult Beauty. Now, I've got the ordinary Too Faced Born This Way concealer, but this is their new one. Their super coverage, multi-use sculpting concealer in the much fatter tube and I've got this in shade Swan because foundation wise I tend to wear Snow and Swan is one shade lighter than Snow so Okay, that, that, that goes a fair way. 
because obviously I'm I'm still looking for my perfect replacement for the tart shape tape. Uh, the Revolution Concealer Defined is not bad, but it does still go a little bit dry on the under eyes. So, I should be giving this Too Faced one a bit of a go. And see how it is. Now, because obviously this is going to be quite a long film anyway, I'm actually going to film me using all these bits separately as a separate tutorial and then I'll come back in and let you know what I thought of all of them when I upload these I'll try and upload them both at the same time so that you can actually go straight from this to the tutorial so I will see you in two shakes of a duck's what's it and I'll be looking hopefully a bit less tired and a bit more colourful. See you in a mo. Hey, I'm back, as you can see, looking much less tired and much more colourful. Um, this had leaked absolutely everywhere um, and on I cleaned it all up and then when I used the pump again it is still coming out and leaking so I need to get hold of Beauty Bay and let them know they've sent me a duff one. Helpful. However, it did mean that I could mix this <laughs> alleged porcelain shade to one which much more resembles porcelain. And yeah, I mixed up too much. Shh. Um, so that's awesome. I really like her. I mean... Obviously, where I've powdered it down at the moment, it's it's um, kind of a satin matte, but give it a couple of hours when my oils start breaking through again, and it will have that beautiful um, dewy finish to it, which I love. Uh, used the Born This Way concealer under my eyes. Um, super high coverage. Isn't settling into fine lines as of yet. We'll let you know how that goes. Um, I did use this underneath my foundation and underneath my normal primer that I use, the anti-perspirant one. Um, obviously I can't tell how that's going to react until I've tried it with other foundations just to see how it performs. Um, I might try doing like a half face of this uh, with foundations and stuff when I'm testing them out just to see how well it extends the wear time. Uh, I used the um, Benefit Dupe Bronzer and the NARS Dupe Blush. Next Door's kids are having so much fun, I think I want to go and join them. Uh, they both are fantastic. The bronzer I had to have a very, very light hand with. It is definitely hula, not hula light. Um, so it would work for people my kind of skin tone, which is uh, Maybelline Fit Me 110... Um, Estee Lauder Double Wear 1C0 Shell uh, Fenty 150 MAC uh, NC13 so that you know it will work from, from my kind of shade probably through um, to I don't know maybe an NC34 Five, possibly. Obviously it's not going to work for people like Naima Tang who've got the most beautiful deep chocolate skin I've ever seen. Um, <clears throat> but it will work for a fair range of skin tones. It, it, it genuinely is a dupe for um, Benefits Hula Bronzer. I curled my lashes, which you can't really see because it just saved me a lot of hassle from when I put the mascara on they were already curled up and poking through the tips of them were poking through these lashes I didn't then have to go along with my fingers and squish the two layers together which saved me getting dirty fingers awesome and I actually went in with my little mini cucumber slay all day because I was in a cucumber mood I used the supreme frost from Jeffrey. Um, absolutely love it, super blinding highlight as you can see, 
does have glitter in it. Now I used my Zoeva brush to blend this in and it's one of these ones that the more you buff it in the more beautiful it becomes and the more it it kind of meshes with your skin and, and gives you this beautiful ethereal glow but <clears throat> you do end up with speckles down the side of your nose so you do but they did just dust away super super easily but uh, if you have applied it with a brush and you've buffed it in do make sure you haven't got any speckles on the side of your nose. Um, I th oh, and the lipstick. I use the Hydromat from Gerard in shade Invasion. Now, Gerard Cosmetics and Jeffree Star Cosmetics are my two favourite liquid lip formulas. They are not sticky. They are super light on the lips super long wearing but they don't dry my lips out and I suffer terribly with super super dry lips um, and Jeffrey and Gerard's are the only ones that I could wear seven days a week without them affecting my lips um, as I mentioned before very briefly my code for 30% off at Gerard Cosmetics is BOMBER in all caps. It will not work during the Black Friday sale where it's 51% off everything. Uh, but I have linked down below my link so that you can actually get into the site and access all of the, um, the discounts that are there at the moment. Obviously once the Black Friday discounts are over and done with because I mean I'm, I'm filming this in November but by the time I've got it edited and uploaded, Black Friday could be over. If it is, then you go ahead and use my bomber code so that you get 30% off. Uh, it is affiliated. I will make a small commission, but it's far more important for me that you get to save 30% on your purchases. Right. I do believe that I have covered everything that I used so far. Obviously, I've got a lot more in the haul that I still need to use, so I will uh, continue to play with new items. I specifically am looking forward to playing with the Bum Bum Cream and the Jelly Highlighter. So, I hope you found this helpful and fun. If you did, it would be awesome if you could hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe. When you subscribe, don't forget to ring my bell, ring my bell, and choose all notifications so that you get told every time I upload another one of these videos. And talking another one of these videos, I've got a lot to choose from. I mean, for a start off, you want to go and watch the tutorial to see how I achieved this look, don't you? Yes, you do. I know you do. It'll be linked below and should be going up at the same time as this film. So, uh, once you've watched my videos, it would be awesome. Did you notice that I just completely lost my entire train of thought then? Yeah. Once you've watched my videos, it would be awesome if you could check out the girls listed in my description box who are the other members of the Beauty YouTuber Growth Group. And I'm sure they will be delighted to welcome you to their respective channels. And the fridge decided to defrost itself just as I'm finishing filming. Fabulous. Now, uh, public service announcement. YouTube have been deleting people from my account. They've been unsubscribing people. I've had a dozen people, literally a dozen people, tell me that they have been unsubscribed from my channel, despite the fact not only were they subscribed, but they had the notification bell rung as well. Please, please, please check you are still subscribed, uh, because uh, if you're not, I will soon disappear from your recommended videos, and you need this madness in your life. Right, all that remains for me to say, as ever, is your stay fabulous and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.